here in Terminal 5 in New York. Taylor Hendricks, this is Women of Honor. Do you think anything you just did was honorable? Honorable? You asking if what I did was honorable, Ian? I say that exactly what I did was honorable. I just taught an ungrateful little snit a lesson. Do you think anybody made any breaks for me? Cut me any slack? Do you think those fans give one care about me or about her or about anybody else? I'll answer that for you, Ian. No, they do not. The boys in the back don't care. The people in those seats don't care. All they care about is this. So if Mandy wants to call herself the queen of honor, well, I say, take a look out there and all hail the queen. Yes, Ian, what I did was very honorable. So I'm gonna tell Mandy to woman up because I am positively poisoned. This division should be built around me. I was given no breaks. I had to build my way up, work my way up, setting up rings, long car trips. I lived out of my car to go to wrestling school. I beat cancer. I was homeless. I paid for training in pennies. And because she goes to the dojo at Ring of Honor, she gets to call herself the Queen of Honor, Ian. I say, I am a woman without honor. I did everything the right way. And the only thing that I have been left with is the voices in my head, the monsters under the bed, and that's it. Nobody's paying my bills but me. Nobody cares when I walk out to that ring. But hey, if I looked like Mandy Leon, maybe I would be inspirational too. Oh, Mandy, you're such an inspiration to me. Why? What has she done that I haven't done? And what is she going to do to me that my life hasn't already seen fit to do to me? That was a real question, Ian. What is she gonna do to me that my life hasn't already done? You want a woman up? Here's an open invitation. Mandy, you're on. You wanna be the queen? It's time you hail Hendrix.